Apple unveiled its Vision Pro headset on June 5th and it will hit the US market by early 2024. Priced at 3499 US dollars, it will be the company's first major new product in almost a decade. So what is so special about it? Well, you will have to wear it to find out. Most of those who did during the Worldwide Developers Conference are yet to get over from its spell. It transports you into a different world. Imagine you are able to open up virtual screens in thin air. Here you can interact with your physical surroundings and function in both at the same time. Users can scroll through or select an option by flicking or tapping together their fingers. This headset has a host of sensors to track eye movements, hand gestures and voice commands, which are the primary ways to control it. With this new technology, Apple introduces a new dimension of computing to the world. Tim Cook describes it as the first Apple product that you look through rather than apt. While virtual reality is a fully immersive experience where you are cut off from the surroundings, augmented reality gives an overlay of digital elements over the real world. It's a see-through. In mixed reality, on the other hand, the device adjusts to the changes in the surrounding. Apple's Vision Pro is introducing spatial computing. It means the user will be interacting with screens which are floating in the air. To make that possible, Apple has come up with new operating software called Vision OS, which enables the three-dimensional interface to make the digital content look and feel as it is present in the user's physical world. The two ultra-high resolution displays with 23 million pixels allow the user to expand the screen size to even a hundred feet wide. The spatial audio system in Apple Vision Pro is very advanced to give the sense that the sounds are coming from the surroundings of the user. This makes this device well suited for gaming and watching movies. The Magic Keyboard and Magic Trackpad along with the spatial FaceTime makes the Vision Pro device a perfect device for work. The Vision can open multiple tabs, move it, drag it, minimize it or magnify it with natural and intuitive movements. While using FaceTime, users can magnify the tiles to life size and position people in the 3D space. With the spatial audio system, the sounds will come exactly from where the user has positioned them. Also, a user wearing the Vision Pro headset during FaceTime is reflected as a persona. The persona is the digital representation of the user made using the advanced machine learning technology of Apple. Currently, the Vision Pro can run unplugged for two hours. The device has a weight of around 454 grams and an external battery needs to be attached to operate it. Apple Vision Pro will be an impetus for the AR and VR products in general as they are going to create content specific to the new technology. Meta's virtual and mixed reality headset Quest and HTC's VR headset Vive have been struggling because of low adoption rates. Mark Zuckerberg said that his vision is different from Apple's and Meta is trying to create a metaverse or a 3D immersive internet. Six to nine months that they are taking is um, to allow developers to create uh, applications and therefore also eventually content specific to um, uh, uh, this world, which is what they've partnered with Disney also for um, uh, to create uh, content. And Apple also has the power to induce uh, Hollywood studios to create content, especially for entertainment um, for this world, which uh, Quest and uh, Meta and other HTC, etc., did not have the power to do. They did not have the power to make Hollywood studios create content specific to their devices, which is one major key difference between uh, their uh, not being able to take off and uh, Apple hopefully having the potential of taking off, besides the fact that it is just a vastly superior device. Visual Pro will be getting takers from healthcare and entertainment industry. There are a few hospitals we know in India where they actually do the training for the new recruits or the interns or the residents and they discuss the surgical cases on Microsoft HoloLens. So it will remain that possibly with Apple entering this space, uh, you know, even at a higher, higher price point, this might take some takers in the higher end entertainment. Experts think that the possibility of spatial computing are profound. 
currently it is a mixed reality device eventually it will have to become augmented reality and much lighter uh, it's still relatively bulky we do not know the exact weight but it's uh, probably closer to uh, 500 grams which still is very heavy to wear. And so once it becomes uh, lighter, its battery uh, uh, gets integrated into the actual headset and it doesn't have to be tethered uh, to an external battery pack. Uh, and uh, once all of those things um, happen and computation keeps increasing as happens with technology over time, um, it definitely has the potential not only to replace smartphones, but also uh, personal computers, television sets, all of those devices uh, will get integrated within this one uh, technology. It will become the most important uh, personal computing device ever. Without any doubt, the Apple Vision Pro headset is leading the way in spatial computing. Once the device-specific content and application is ready and it has evolved to be lighter and less expensive, Apple Vision Pro has the potential to replace PCs and smartphones to become the most important device of the near future. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. He's making plans for an early retirement. Business Standard